Hey everybody, Miss Dietrich, we're looking at question number four. A sandbox is a right rectangular prism that is six feet long and four feet wide. The sandbox can hold 48 cubic feet of sand when full. Lisa fills the sandbox one fourth full of sand. What is the height of the sand in the sandbox? All right, so this is a little bit tricky because you have a couple of steps. So really, if we think about the volume that would be, you know, the height of the sand, so I'm just trying to use, you know, like yellow to help you understand that. If it's one fourth full, then that means we have to find what one fourth of 48 is. And if we do that, <clears throat> we get 12. So we're really talking about 12 cubic feet of sand um, where we're full. So let's use that number as our volume. And let's substitute in the other numbers that we know, which we know it's six going this way for the length. And we know that it's four going this way for the width. So we just need to know how tall it is in the sand, you know, here for the sand. So this height right here, not the whole thing, because if we were interested in the whole thing, then we wouldn't use 12, we'd use 48. All right, so let's substitute a variable H for our height. All right, next. We need to simplify these two numbers right here by multi multiplying them together. So that would give us 24. Six times four is 24. And then let's bring down the H. And let's bring down the 12. All right, so the next step is to recognize what's the opposite of multiplying a variable by 24. Wouldn't it be to divide by 24? And we would do that on both sides of the equation. All right, and bring down the H. Now we have two options. Option one is um, if you want a decimal response, then we can just put in 12 and then hit divided by 24. But if they want a fraction response, do you see how this is not, this is, um, not an improper fraction, but just a, a fraction. It's a value, this, this value that I'm hovering over is a value that's less than one. So we can just simplify that. 12 is a factor of both of these. To, so to simplify this fraction, divide this numerator by 12 and then divide the denominator by 12 and then you'll have your fraction answer.